One more type of chart that I'd like to show you is a pie chart. This is a very common chart type that you're going to use. So I'm going to go to my smaller region of Canada. And in this case, I only want to show quarter one. With a pie chart, I just want to see how each person fit into the quarterly information. So I will select the last name column so that we know who sold the data. And then using my control key, I'm going to select the quarter one column. It is important whenever selecting any type of chart that you always make sure you have an even number of cells selected. Otherwise, you'll create the chart background with no data formatted. If there are an odd number of cells selected, Excel can't match up the label with the data and it gets confused. So in this case, even though last name is not going to appear in our chart when we create it, you need it to be selected so that there's something to match up with Q1. To insert my pie chart, I will click the Insert tab in the ribbon, click the pie dropdown, and choose the type of pie that you would like to select. I'll go with a 3D pie. Again, the Microsoft default color scheme is applied. I'm going to change the colors by selecting one from the list, but I still want to change a few of the colors. These three green colors are too close in color, so I want something that has a little bit more contrast. First, I will select the, the light green. Notice when I click on the pie, all of the pieces of pie are selected. If I were to change the color right now, the whole pie would change to whatever color I select. Not very interesting. So let's make sure we click again to select a single piece of pie. Notice how the dots are displayed around the outside of the piece of pie only, not around the entire perimeter of the chart. Now I only have one piece selected. Let's go to the Format tab. Let's go to the Shape Fill and change the color of that pie shape. I'm just going to make it one tick lighter so that it's a little bit better contrast. Then I'm going to select the darker green shape and I'm actually going to move away from the color scheme that we have here. Notice this time I didn't have to select the piece of pie twice. Once you've selected an individual piece, you'll have to deselect the pie to select the whole thing again. I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to again choose an orange color to contrast with that shape of pie. Now I can also change the outline for my shape as well. And I believe I'd like to do that for the entire pie. So I'm going to select the whole pie shape, change the shape outline, and then select the color that you would like for the outline. If you want to format other areas of the chart, right click and choose format area to select that area for formatting purposes. I'll right click and change the background color of the chart. If I right click and choose format chart area, Notice this panel that appears on the right hand side. I now have three categories that I can format. Fill and line, effects, and size and properties. I'm going to click the fill and line and expand fill. I would like to apply a gradient fill to the background of my shape. I'll select gradient fill and the default colors that are applied are blue. However, there are some preset gradient options that I can go with, and I think I'd like a green background a little bit better. You can also change the direction of the gradient so it has a different impact. So I almost create a glow around my pie. If you need to change a color altogether or remove a color stop, you can select the color stop in question and click delete the remove color stop or select the new color from the pop-up list. 
Next, I want to format the data on my pie so that I can see the names of each individual in the pieces of pie. Select the pie and click the plus sign located in the upper right hand corner of your pie chart. Check the box to show data labels. Numbers automatically appear. However, some pieces of pie are too small to display the numbers and some pieces of pie are too dark to display the numbers. Point to the arrow to the right of the data labels option and choose more options. Notice the panel on the right stays open, but now is displaying format data labels. I can see label options and text options, and again, four different categories. Label options is where I want to start. I'm going to expand the label options category. I would like to know what percentage each person sold. So I'm gonna check percentage. Now you'll notice that the pieces of pie have two pieces of information in one dialog box. I don't really want the value I just want to know the percentage, so I will uncheck the value. However, I do want to know who sold it, so I will also check category name, which adds the name of the individual. If I increase the size of my chart slightly, then some of the text that was not able to fit onto the pie shapes will squeeze in place. Another customization that we can make is to select the legend that's at the bottom, and I no longer need this information because it's actually redundant. So I'm just simply going to press the delete key, which allows the entire pie to become slightly larger without actually making the chart any bigger. So now you notice all of my text is displayed in the pie pieces. If the pie becomes small enough that the text will not fit in the pieces, you will see, if necessary, leader lines that draw from the text back to the piece of pie. Since I only have one and it's right next to the pie shape, everything still works. Now, the next problem that I have is I'm noticing that I can't see the text in some of my darker shapes. And I also know that if I put the text in um, a lighter color so that it would contrast with those dark shapes, then I'm going to have problems with at least one um, that I still won't be able to see very well. So one of the solutions is to simply um, look at my label options and choose where I want them to appear in my pie. So I'm going to click the little chart symbol up at the top and expand label options and down here at the bottom, I have label position. So center puts them in the center of the pie. Outside end will actually put them right next to each piece of pie, which I think looks a little bit better. While I have those selected, I will also make them bold. So the keyboard shortcut control B would work. You can right click on any of them and choose font and choose bold from the option. You can also increase the font size in this dialog box. So if I bump that up to 11, now the text is slightly larger and displays next to my pieces of pie on the background so that we can see it for all of the pieces. And so now I would like to make quarters two, three, and four look exactly the same. Now the problem is you may not remember all of the steps that you took to get here, but I can simply save what I have as a template. If you right click on the pie chart and choose save as template, I can give this a name, pie chart. You can create as many templates as you want and store them in this folder. And the wonderful thing about these templates is that they are available to any Microsoft product. So if you create an Excel chart and then use it in a PowerPoint presentation later, you can just simply recreate the chart in PowerPoint or reformat it by applying the template to it in PowerPoint. You'll see the same templates available. 
So to create my next chart, again, I'm going to start with the names for each individual, but this time I'm going to control click quarter two and all of the values underneath it. Now I'm going to go to my insert tab, click the pie chart drop down as we did before, but instead of selecting my chart, I'm going to go down to more pie charts. At the top of my category list is a templates folder, and I can simply select my template, click OK, and I have chart number two. Now it is a different size. If I want them to be the same size, I can just simply lay one over top of the other one and resize them so that they all end up the same size. And then I would be able to repeat that process for quarters three and four.